Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you my last audio effects rack uh, riser, which is basically an audio effect rack, especially for build up. Uh, I tried to reproduce something very similar to the Endless Smile plugin from Dada Life. So, yeah, the purpose is to avoid to have so many automation and to just have one to control the rise of your build up. So, let's have a look how it's sounding first, and we'll see what is inside just after that. <laughs> So inside you have a frequency shifter who is going to pitch all your sound. You have as well an EQ8 which is basically a high pass filter and the high shelves. So then you have erosion who is going to add some noise and you have as well a modulation of the frequency so you can get this sweeping up effect uh, on the noise. And to finish you have a delay and then a reverb. So let's have a look with this one, it's a simple saw wave, but like this you can see how it's working. Okay, so now if I activate the pitch, this knob allow you to activate the pitch and this one allows you to activate the noise. Like this you can decide if you want to add pitch modulation and noise effect to your build up. So with the pitch, And now with the noise. So you can hear you have this noise sweeping effect. Okay, now let's try to put all together with the pitch and the noise and to try on a different track to show you how effective it is. So you can see on this part of the track there is no build up at all, it's just the main rhythm. So now if you start slowly to turn on the knob, you're gonna see the effect. Well, okay, sure the track is originally pretty awesome, but you can see that without any pre build up, uh, this audio effect rack can allow you to have a nice build up, nice rising effect. Another thing really important, if you click on the map button, you can see all the minimum and maximum value of all the parameters of all the device who are assigned to the macro, which allow you to really uh, shape you rack how you want. For example, if you're not happy with the reverb, you can put it a little bit down or up by modifying the maximum amount. Same with the delay, if you think it's too much delay, you can change the dry weight, you can change the time of the delay, you can change the frequency that it's affecting. If you think it's too much noise, you can go on the amount and reduce the amount. Same if you want a higher pitching effect, you can just modify the fine parameter and put it 500 Hz. So I think you got the point now, you really can do how you want uh, by modifying this maximum and minimum value. Do not hesitate to try different kind of things because you can have very different and nice results. So I think that's it, I show you everything now. Just remember this knob to control the whole effect rack, then this macro to activate the pitch effect and this one to activate the noise effect. All right, we're done. Please like, comment, share, say what you like, say what you didn't like. Um, from now, I'm gonna post a video every two weeks on Sunday. So don't miss, subscribe, press the subscribe button. Don't forget you can download it for free. It's in the description of the video. And then have fun and see you soon. Ciao.